Today I'm going to be making a tea cosy. Now I have three teapots. This one here I use the most. It's a, um, a four cup or four mug. I think it get more than the cups are smaller. But I get four mugs of tea out of that one. The same with this one. This one here has a, a cosy over the top. And it's a two, a two cup pot, but I find this cover here doesn't really keep the tea all that hot. But um, just lately, I've noticed my tea hasn't been keeping very hot in the pot, so I've decided I'm going to make a tea cosy. And I've started. This is one half of it. It's for this this teapot here. But this is. Um, there's five different yarns I've been using in here and I've measured measured the pot up to the spout and then up to um to here and done the decreasing from the top up to the um where the lid is on the um the teapot. I've had to work that out. And this is just bits of yarn that I've had left over from other things and I thought I'll use it up. So I had the bright idea of doing one row each colour and I found that very <laughs> confusing getting the yarn twisted and then having to twist it around the um the edges to go up the um the sides and I'll show you how um how I did this I've started the other side of it I've used all of these are just scraps from all these so crafty double knitting yarn that scraps I've had left from uh, waist yarn from garments um, that I've knitted and a pair of four and a quarter millimetre needles that's what size I use for to do the um, the tea cosy so this is how I cope with all the different balls of uh, colour that um, I've got here Well, the next colour after the um, the green is the camel, so I need to take the the camel colour and twist it twice around the the other two colours that I'm not using. Like that. And then start knitting in. And got a stitch across the row. And you'll note I've got the three colours that's on this side, the camel, the green and the plum, are over on this side here. And when I knit, when I get to the end, I'll be swapping them over because I'm only doing one row in each colour. And I'm almost at the end of the row here. Now I'm at the end of the row, the next colour I'll be using will be the grey, which was on this side. And as I'll be turning the, the needles like that, all the colours that's on this side will be on the opposite side over here. And these colours on that side. And so I'm going to be using the grey. I'm going to take that grey cut grey yarn and twist it from the, the rest first. Okay. 
So I need to twist that grey around the other two yarns. Still a bit twisted around the blue. So I'll twist it twice round. So there it's twisted around. So I'm going to knit this row in grey. Almost at the end of the, the row again. So that's the row in the grey and the next colour will be the plum which is on this side and as we're turning the knitting we've got to move those balls over to that side and move the other ones over to the other side and that's what you have to do each time you um you do a row it's uh you get into a rhythm i'm about i'm about to start the um the decreasing on the um the cozy i've done it the same as the um the other when i've knitted four inches well, it's four and a half inches from the cast on edge up to where I start the um, the shaping here. And what I've done is I've started off with about four stitches and then knit two together, then five stitches, knit two together, five, uh, all the way across, decreased it evenly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times across the um, the row. And I'll do that every fifth row, decreasing the number of stitches in be in between the decreasing each time um, until I get up to the um, the top, and I'm left with eight stitches here to cast off. So I'm starting it with the grey. I've twisted the yarn around the. I've knitted four and I'm knitting two together. And then I'm knitting five. I'm knitting two together again. left with six at the end. I'll go on to the next row and switch all the yarns around. The next row is the plum colour. So I'll have to unravel that. Wrap the plume around. And then I'll just be knitting an ordinary plain row across. Now by doing that for five rows, or four rows, and on the fifth row, 
be decreasing as before but instead of five stitches in between there will only be four and so on every fifth row until um, I get to my last eight stitches so that's the second decreasing row and you just keep on doing that until there's eight stitches and then cast off the next decreasing row will have three stitches in between the, the, the decreasing stitches the one after that will have two and the last one will be one and then the very last row will be knit all, all the stitches together, two stitches together across the whole row. And there are my two pieces for the tea cosy. And all I have to do is put the pieces together. The teapot is measure the bottom up to the spout and the bottom up to the handle very little difference and the little bits on the top and that's where I'll stitch the the top bits and the bottom bits but before I do that I'm going to do a lining with the the tea cozies 27 I'll probably do it in the plum that should be enough And as you can see, I'm picking up the stitches. From the bottom. And now using the, the plum. there i've picked up the stitches all the way along the bottom and i'm going to to carry on knitting that and correspond with the size of the um the outside of the cozy and this will be the inside the lining so it makes it a little bit thicker um well i'm almost finished my tea cozy i've got the two pieces here knitted to put together and I've also done um, a lining as you can see it's I've just knitted the lining I picked up the stitches along the bottom edge and just knitted all the way up to match the um, the outer layer just a little bit slightly slightly smaller so that the edges were free for for stitching up and to give the um the cozy a little bit more chance to um to keep the tea hot so all i have to do now is measure up the um the teapot and where to leave the slits and i'll show you that when i do it and these are the two pieces of the tea cozy as you can see um the lining that i've made on them give that make them a little bit thicker so they'll keep the tea hot hot for longer so what i need to do now is measure where i'm going to put the um to leave the slits for the so i'm putting up a piece up the pinning for the handle and a pin for where the spout and 
very little difference. Going to do the same now for the um, the top part. The top of the spout. And the top of the handle. So all I have to do now is sew those pieces together. Just the pins on the outside. And then I have a pom-pom to put on the top. There's cosy. I put the pom-pom on the top. Make sure they're well tied up inside before you cut the strands of yarn off. And that's going to keep my tea nice and warm. And I have the other two teapots. I can use this the same tea cosy, but I'll probably make another one for those ones. But as you can see, it's that one too. A little bit big for that one, but uh, we'll do her a push. But I will probably knit her one for all three teapots. So if you like my video and you would like to see more, thumbs up and subscribe.